when we were presented with this opportunity to even be considered for this award, and now we've gotten to the finalist stage, I really like the fact that our employees know that Atchley & Associates has been recognized by people in the community as people who uh, have high ethical standards. And I really hope that as they think about their association with us to have some pride and also it challenges them to their own high standards. Being recognized uh, for the Ethics and Small Business Award is just an incredible uh, honor. It to me means that everything that we have strived for internally for years is emulating to the outside world, which is to me the ultimate compliment. I have worked a lot of places. I have been in the Air Force for 21 years. I had my own practice. And even through all of that, this is probably the best place that I have ever worked. And I, it's quite an honor to be here because of the way we behave and the way we deal with each other. It's one of the most respectful environments I've ever worked in. Ethics means doing the right thing when no one's looking. It means making tough decisions seem really easy sometimes. Sometimes they feel tough, but you know deep down in what the right thing is to do and you step up to the plate and do it regardless of what the consequences are. When this firm was started in 1999, we really did start it with an idea of core values being the basis of who we are. And it just, I think, confirms that we did the right thing starting with that as our basis and that we've continued to live it and that the community now recognizes us for having ethical behavior. One of the ways that we demonstrate ethics is our sales process. We are in the business of selling insurance products to the public and instead of being mainly concerned with just making the sale, we're going to be most interested in listening and then educating that client and then advising them. As we continue through the sales process and we get more into the detail, we really become educators because we want the insured not to just do what we say or, or make that decision based on what we're telling them. And sometimes we are advising those clients options that don't include us and perhaps um, aren't the best economic position for our company, but it's what's best for them. One of my coworkers and I had recently proposed a a policy to one of our current clients for something that they didn't have, a coverage that they didn't have. And we should have caught it before, but while we were um, going through this proposal with them, we caught a little exclusion towards the end that kind of, it, it made their policy not what they needed. We could have easily just kind of ignored it and gone on, and it probably wouldn't even have been a big deal later on. But, you know, it was there. We had to point it out, and we had to go back to the drawing board, and we had to sacrifice that sale and to kind of start all over with that client. But, I mean, we have to be honest. That's important, so. Ethics, in the context of my day-to-day -day work, um, the first thing that it means is full disclosure. I'm helping employers find employee benefits for their employees who are their most valuable resource. And the, the employer wants to know and needs to know all the ins and outs of how to put that plan in place and needs to know all the options. So full disclosure is, is a real part of what we do every day. To me, ethics means uh, living the right way. Uh, it's, it's hard to describe when we were nominated for this award. It's the kind of thing you don't really think about, but when you're nominated, you start really pondering what does ethics mean. Uh, in our business, we often say that we don't look for projects, we look for clients. And we build relationships more than we build buildings. Uh, very frequently, we will have um, clients who ask us to do things that are over and above a prescribed scope of service. 
but very frequently because of our relationship, they'll ask us for things that are kind of on the periphery of, of what we do as architects and interior designers, whether it's to help them with fundraising or to you know, make a presentation to their board or to, to show up at an event. Uh, we always honor those because in doing so we honor the relationship. Uh, I think the way that people in, in uh, business that are ethical businesses, um, the way that we recognize other businesses is that we use other businesses that are ethical, um, that we, we, we work together and we, uh, we feed off of each other. Um, we have 90% of our clients are repeat clients and um, they recognize us because we're ethical. Um, we treat our clients well and we treat our employees well and I, all of our clients recognize that. Everyone should be recognized for that because it's the only way you should be running your business. And if you're not running your business that way, then shut it because it's the only way we should be running our businesses.